Mich würde nämlich mal interessieren, also vorher schon, bevor das Update da ist, wie sieht Daniel Morat das? Weil der hat ja, also der kennt das ja definitiv schon ein bisschen besser als wir und kann das ein bisschen besser vergleichen. Dieses Zimmer ist wirklich wunderschön geworden. Muss man einfach mal sagen. iRacing Rain ist finally here. I've been waiting for. Oh oh. Äh, ja, ich sehe FPS äh, verschwinden. Holy moly. I give you my professional racing driver experience perspective on what rain feels like. This isn't a setup guide. If you want one of those, you can check out some of the other content creators from iRacing. But this is going to be a perspective from a professional driver's point of view. And I'm going to let you know ultimately if the rain feels realistic, which is what we all want to know. So I'm going to wear these Bones gloves while I'm uh, running you through it. You can get them on moreadness.com. It's a shameless plug. But let's jump in the sim. <laughs> Ich wollte gerade sagen, das war ja bitte mal die, das war ja bitte mal die wildeste Werbung. Man hätte auch einfach sagen können, so Freunde, so eine Werbesegment, schön. Das wird auch so ein neues Ding hier in der iRacing Community, ne? dass wir äh, Shotgun Mics haben und äh, in ihr Kopfhörer. This is some of the most fun you're gonna have, in my opinion in racing a lot of other games okay. have this like rain effect the visuals but they don't actually do the rain properly and this is something i've been really anticipating i'm sure everyone in the iRacing community has been anticipating as well just the rain and how good it's going to be in my opinion this is incredibly realistic i just find that in terms of the way the puddles appear on the track i've driven sebring in the rain and It's legit exactly the same. Where the puddles are forming, it's identical. Uh, the line that we're gonna be driving around here, it's also like liter literally identical. You need to drive off the rubber, brake off the rubber so it's not so slippery. You know, if you, we'll get into this in another video. I'm gonna, guide, I'm gonna teach all of you guys the basics of driving in the rain and how to survive it, but this is just my first impressions. And, Like I said, I know we're all eagerly anticipating this. You're probably wondering how your safety rating is going to do. Hopefully well, but uh, anticipate <lacht> Ich glaube, die ersten zwei Wochen werden die absolute Hölle für Safety Rating. Aber es sind eh nur Zahlen, nicht wahr? There's going to be a lot of it. It is really slippery. If you drive the conventional line, you're going to struggle. So you notice that I'm kind of one lane off of the, the rubber line here not breaking on the rubber motor, breaking down the inside of the road, stopping the car, rotating at a slow speed and trying to accelerate off the rubber. It's just... Also jetzt für mich, für mich jetzt, ne? unabhängig jetzt von dem Content, den wir gerade hier an der Stelle äh, konsumieren. Ich frage mich wirklich immer noch, wer das geil findet. Also übrigens nicht, weil ich nicht im Regen fahren kann. Also mir ist, äh, glücklicherweise bin ich gar nicht mal so schlecht im Regen. Ich frage mich immer, wem das gefällt. Also, das, das, ich habe das noch nie verstanden. Weil man eiert da eigentlich nur rum. So, also, man kommt ja nicht richtig in, in die Töpfe. Also, ne? Weiß nicht. Mir gibt das ehrlich gesagt nicht so viel im Rennfahren. So realistic, I love it. Now let's talk about the visuals, the puddling, the reflections. I mean, it's just a step up. It looks so good. For being a game that's uh, built in... Ja, also Alex, das stimmt, das gehört absolut dazu und deswegen sage ich ja auch, äh, es ist gut, dass es kommt, nur jetzt nach ne, selber vielen Jahren, die wir jetzt äh, Sim Racing schon Regen hatten, ich verstehe das nicht. Also ich, ich verstehe es absolut nicht. Oh Gott, hello. Let's get back on the track. Und das bedeutet jetzt übrigens auch nicht, dass das hier absolut keine Daseinsberechtigung hat oder man nur im schönen Wetter fahren soll, ne? Also... Und das gilt jetzt auch nicht für die Leute, die jetzt hier ein paar Jahre gewartet haben in, in, in iRacing. Ne? Das ist einfach so grundlegend fernab jetzt von, von iRacing. Die Frage stelle ich mir echt häufig. Für eine Plattform, die so alt ist, sieht es wirklich gut really aus. Es performt wirklich really gut. Well. Ich habe eine wirklich stabile Framerate, wie like 140, und ich habe es gekappt. Also, ich bin einfach so, ich mache wirklich gut auf Framerate. Es scheint zu sein effizient. Der Regen sieht gut auf der Straße. The puddling, the reflections, all that's really nice. And it's actually nice to drive because you can accurately see where to put the car. And you want to typically avoid the puddles. 
Especially as the rain gets heavier and there's monsoon-like conditions. I mean, you can tune this to the point where we would never drive it in real life, but you can have a go at it and uh, barrel roll the car into uh, the T1 wall. But yeah, you can see how all the puddles are forming in these channels going into turn one. Just got to be really patient with it. When you touch these puddles, you feel the car aquaplaning, but it's not to the point where it's completely out of control, where you're you're losing the car. It actually gives you the... Das erinnert mich immer an Spa nach Rouge, wenn es schön geregnet hat. <lacht> das macht richtig Laune. The ability and the chance to save it and to gather yourself back up. So it's not like you hit a puddle and you're gone forever. So you do hydroplane and it's sketchy. I'll tell you, it's a lot sketchier and a lot sketchier in real life than it is in this game because you can just reset if you smash into a wall. Which, and in my opinion, I think it's going to be cool for me to be able to train and for amateur drivers or even professional drivers to use this as a tool to get comfortable and more confident in the rain. I know that um, with my teammate this year in uh, the Michelin Pilot Challenge, Bryce Ward, he's a less experienced driver getting so much quicker using iRacing as a platform. And, you know, he swears by it. He, he just can't believe how much it's helped him. And having the rain is going to help so much because we're going to be able to simulate all different sorts of weather conditions. And Warte mal, das bedeutet doch jetzt auch, dass wir endlich den Scheibenwischer alleine anmachen können, oder? Bedeutet das, dass wir den Scheibenwischer endlich alleine anmachen dürfen? Also immer? Für alle Autos? Ach nee, die werden ja jetzt alle erstmal re Regen ready gemacht. Stimmt, da war ja was. No joke, die werden ja jetzt alle erst Regen ready, ready gemacht. And where you have to brake and rotate the car is very, very similar. Like I said, you hit a puddle, you don't absolutely lose the car. You can see I'm really just able to wiggle the car back and forth and and more so, like, just catch it. Here, things understeering, aquaplane, like I hit these puddles and aquaplanes. You feel it skipping across the front axle. Like here, I'm gonna drive off the road. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Gathered it up, gathered it up. But like, if I touch that, that puddle, see how it pulls that front left tire and kind of snaps the car around. If I go out here and try to accelerate on the curb, you see how it slips on the curb, so you want to really avoid painted lines. Look at this. Like, being on those painted lines really does affect the grip level, which is so cool. I think they've nailed it in terms of the realism. Being out here, okay. let's let's try to... Whoa, whoa. Die ersten Kommentare sehe ich schon wieder unten drunter stehen. Oh, der ist gekauft von iRacing. We saved it. Trying to go on the painted line, you can see how slippery it is. So the things you want to avoid, obviously, are like the painted lines, the rubber, especially on uh, these older circuits that have a lot of rubber buildup on them. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure on newer circuits, you might be able to drive more of a conventional line. And it's just amazing that iRacing's been able to implement that into their game. I don't know. I mean, obviously, we've been waiting a long time for it, but it's um, a wait that's been well worth it in my opinion because I'd rather have a game or a sim that is dialed in correctly as I go through a puddle there and you see what happens I'd rather have the game dialed in correctly than just to have another gimmick like like you know look at that how good is this driving in the puddles you see how it pulls the car if I drive in the puddle here the steering wasn't working let me break okay. on the rubber line the car doesn't stop so everything that should be happening is happening and i really think this is going to be a game changer for everyone just get your safety rating ready sind die bäume anders geworden jetzt mal jetzt mal wirklich nur aus interesse sind die bäume anders geworden oder ist das einfach weil was regnet <laughs> probably yeah uh, sieht erstmal gut aus a little bit now the thing that um we can't see while i'm driving right now but you can see in these uh clips from driving with some other content creators is that the spray is going to be nuts. So driving behind other cars is incredibly realistic. Uh, you know, everyone's going to complain and say, I can't see anything, but genuinely that's how it is in the real car. And that's why you hear the saying, like, Whoa. you know, people that are driving in the rain are really earning their paycheck, the professionals anyway. And uh, it's true. Like, you just, you're risking a lot. Everyone that complains saying, ah, these guys should be racing. 
I promise you, when you start driving this and you have no visibility, you'll start having a new appreciation for what the drivers go through when they're racing around the track with a ton of spray. It really is dangerous. Das ist ja I'm glad that we can start to simulate it here on the sim um, and you know survive to tell the tale after you uh, cartwheel over the fence. Das macht echt einen schönen Eindruck. Seeing the car in front of you, but overall, just an incredible experience. My first impressions are very, very uh, you know nice. Ultimately, game is incredible. I racing smashed it out of the park on this, well beyond my expectations. To be honest, going in. And I'm not paid by iRacing to say any of this. Literally, I don't, I can say whatever I want and play any game I want. And there is a good reason why I choose to do this. Has it been the best in terms of tire model in the past? No, there's definitely areas to work on. But I still find that overall, as a game, they've hit they've hit everything on on the on the head. A kleiner Tipp übrigens an alle: uh, In NASCAR fährt man immer ohne Regen. Just saying. Also für Leute, die jetzt gerade ihr Rating sich verabschieden sehen, ist das eine Idee. Ähm, SK ist ohne. Um, the way that the rain drives, the way you have to drive the racing line. Oval. Or off of the racing line because of the rubber buildup is just spot on. The puddling, the way it pulls the car. Being able to ich zähle die normale Strecken meistens bei Nesca nicht mit dazu, weil ich das ein bisschen noch nicht so drin habe. Oval ist ohne. Plane and not crash, like, or being able to recover it at least, is just amazing. Like here, look, go through a puddle, ich lose the front end, absolutely no steering, but I'm able spannend. to like gather it back up and make the corner. So they've just done such a good job on that and. I can't wait to drive this more. These are just my first impressions, my raw impressions. I've, I've only done uh, one run in this, just to kind of see what it's like. Now I've just taken a little bit more time to run through and give you my impressions of this, and um, I just cannot wait to play it more. And I can't wait to race you guys online throughout the year with uh, this whole new weather model they call Tempest. That's so rookish, me. So, It feels insane. I am blown away completely. I didn't think it would be that good. You've seen other games where they've just implemented some graphical updates in terms of making the track wet, putting rain on the windshield, and it looks really good in other games. iRacing actually made it look very good for what they have in terms of their, their gaming engine, but the driving experience is legit one-to-one. -one. I, I think maybe too realistic for a lot of Uh, sim racers, it's going to be an adjustment period, I think, for people to get used to how realistic it is. But I'll tell you from a racing driver point of view and being behind the wheel of the Mercedes AMG GT3 at Sebring International Raceway in the rain, it is a one to one experience. In my opinion, even better yeah. than the way it drives in the dry. And for anyone talking about tire model or anything like that, I think all those questions go out the window. When it comes to the rain, it is the real deal. And I can't wait to see you guys barrel roll into turn one. Uh, you better kiss your safety rating goodbye. Uh. Or practice a lot before going into it. But it's going to be amazing. Wir wissen alle, wie das endet. Wir haben alle irgendwann mal League of Legends gespielt. Und wir wissen alle, wie es ist, wenn ein neuer Champion rauskommt. Ach, scheiß auf üben, Alter. Ich geh rein, Mann. Ich kann das doch. Was los? Gleich rankt. Gib ihm. Ähm, um, sorry, warum hast du jetzt äh, Midlane nochmal gefeedet? Ja, ich weiß auch nicht, weil du einfach ein Hüppiep bist. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know if you're enjoying the rain once you get a, a chance to try it. I'm looking forward ich to hearing your experiences. Drauf. If you like it, if you hate it, it's the same in real life. Some drivers love the rain, some drivers hate the rain. I personally love it. I always find that I excel in the rain because it's a time for you to slip and slide and to just enjoy yourself. It's a little bit more dangerous, you can't see anything, but that's what makes us kind of crazy behind the wheel. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna put a lot more rain content. If you want to know more about driving in the rain, I could even turn it into a series. Let me know down below in the comments and ultimately I'm looking forward to hearing from you. We'll see you guys in the next video. Dankeschön, Daniel, für den äh, Vergleich zwischen Real Life und ähm, zwischen Real Life und iRacing.
Jetzt bin ich ja mal gespannt, ob äh, wir dann wirklich äh, nochmal, äh, also wie das Reifenmodell dann aussieht im Trocknen. Das wäre auch, glaube ich, echt das Erste, was ich ausprobieren würde. Äh, was fährt Morat noch in echt? GT3 und GT4 fährt er. Schauen wir.